Hey guys, my name is Jen and welcome back to my channel. So this week's video, we're gonna have some fun, okay? We're gonna have some fun. So as you probably know, last week I graduated from college. So I finished my entire four year bachelor's degree. I am done, I am out of this place. So I said, why not come on here, give a video of my college experience and basically just the truth about college. What is it really like? Is it like the rumors? Is it harder than the leaving cert? We're gonna go through it all, okay? We're gonna go through it. Oh, so sit back, relax, get some snacks. You know I love a good snack. Let's do this. So let's get on with the video. <laughs> get on to this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below I post videos every Sunday at 7 p.m. normally and if not I normally let you know on my Instagram so I'm gonna link that down below so I've broken this video up into three different parts my note if you haven't seen my video about how I like edit videos and stuff hit the link up here so I've broken this video up into three parts okay so the first part is gonna be all about picking like your college course the second part is gonna be all about college life itself and then the third part is gonna be about exam let's get into it the first part is basically picking your college course let's rewind back to 2016 I think is the year I did my leaving cert and I remember not having a clue of what I wanted to do so basically I remember the dilemma I had it was either BIS which is what I ended up doing or architecture are they not just completely different they are nowhere near related I know it's such a big decision to decide what you want to do with your life and what you want to do for the next three or four years but the one thing I'm gonna say to you about picking your course is make sure you pick something that you actually want to do what I mean by wanting to do, I mean you have an interest in learning about this subject, this area. You would see yourself working in this area. You have a passion. One thing I want you not to do is pick a course just because it gives you jobs. Pick a course because it gives you a lot of money. Or pick a course because your parents want you to do this. Let's be realistic here, okay? It doesn't matter how many points you get. You can do whatever you want no matter what happens. For example, if your parents want you to do law and you have no interest, your parents are the ones doing the course. So you got to do something that you're interested in so then you'll actually learn something and you will enjoy your college experience that's all i gotta say the second part of this video is all about college life so let's start with the very first thing which is class so when you're going to college you're obviously going to have a timetable for all my four years in college i had roughly 20 to 22 hours a week and that could range sometimes i could be in from nine to five some days i could have one class it does depend on your timetable depends on your course depends on your college when you're in class itself obviously the lecture is teaching you they're giving you notes they're teaching you about the module whatever to be honest it's actually pretty chill in the lecture itself as long as you have respect towards the lecture and like aren't talking to your friends etc so taking notes in class and a lot of students might take it on a notebook other students might take it on the laptop it really depends really on you and what suits you for your study guide so the difference between the classes we have lectures we have tutorials and we have labs so the lectures are when the whole entire class is in one room so then we have tutorials tutorials are basically student teachers who go over what was already done in the lecture and answers any questions you have or kind of goes into more detail and then the lab is where you learn all the technical stuff so it could be programming it could be database management etc okay so then it comes to actual lectures themselves now a lot of people think lectures don't give a crap but in reality they actually do so from CIT from my experience I liked the majority of my lectures they were all very kind they helped you as much as they could they would reply to emails now it is common to have one or two lecturers who may mightn't be as good as replying to emails or mightn't be as good of a teacher as you hoped that's okay don't worry. The whole job of the lecture is to give you the information, give you the resources. It is your job then to go away and learn it and make sure you remember it. That's the difference between college and let's say secondary school. The lecture is pretty chill. They give you the information and it then is your choice of what you want to do with that information. So you can either go learn it, you can just leave it, you can throw it in the bin, you can do whatever you want. The whole thing about college is taking responsibility for your own education. Okay nightlife so you're all probably wondering what is the story with the nightlife like are we going out the whole time is it fun what's it like the nightlife is probably the best thing to do in first year that's where you meet friends that's where you go enjoy yourself really feel the college experience now as the years go on you're probably not going to want to go out as much your workload will be getting more and more and it's going to be harder to get up on those friday mornings for those 9am lectures let me tell you 
I've had my few experiences and it does get hard, believe me. But what I can say to you is you just gotta live your best life, enjoy it, and you're just gonna go from there. Class parties are a great thing to get used to your class, to get to know everyone, make friends. Nightlife is good. So the last section of this video is going to be about exams. Now a lot of people are always like, oh are college exams harder than the leaving sir? What's it like? Oh my god are they hard? Like what am I going to do? Now I'm going to tell you this much. I don't think college exams are as hard as the leaving cert because when I did my leaving cert it was the worst year of my life. I hated every single bit of it because you're expected to learn all this information that you've learned over the past two years into one exam. One, two, three hour exam. That's just crazy. I'm it. Like, I'm so happy I don't have to do the leaving cert again. God bless everyone else who've done it. College exams are quite different. So, a lot of colleges are semesterized, meaning that you have different modules from, let's say, September to December than you do, let's say, um, January to June. So, for CIT, I know we're semesterized, meaning that I have six modules that I learn from September to December, and then I get examined on just those six modules in December. Once January hits, I have six new modules, and those six new modules then I'll get examined for in June. So, this does help a lot. So, the big comparison between the leaving cert and college exams is that they are semesterized and you don't have as much information to learn as you would in the leaving cert. The second, so that was the first thing. So the second thing then is basically the layout of the exam itself. So with college, you do have continual assessment, which is great for people who don't do well in exam situations. So for me now this year, I had two modules who were 50% continual assessment, meaning that my end of term exam was only 50%. I had another module that was fully continual assessment, so I had no end of term exam, which was fantastic. But then I had another module who it was like 70% end of exam and then 30% continual assessment. So it really varies per module but that is the big difference between let's say college and the leaving cert. The structure is different and I just think it's so much better to be honest. 10 out of 10 recommend. I don't think I have anything else to say about exams. Normally the lectures are really good. They prepare you well so they might give you sample questions. They might hold revision sessions which is very good. Or even some lectures might actually let you know questions that are high possibility coming up. So maybe like tips and stuff. All I'm saying is the exams, I would say, I don't want to say they're easier because you still have to put a lot of work into it, but compared to the level of the leaving cert and the level of college exams, I would say I prefer college exams over the leaving cert because the leaving cert was just not good. Okay, so I think that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I hope it kind of gave you an insight into what it's like to be in college and basically just if you're heading in there next year good luck and I hope you like it I will be gone oh my god thank god what am I doing there who knows so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you didn't and subscribe as well because I know some of you who are watching this are not subscribed I'll see you and I'll see you next week with another video bye guys